What's going on, world? It's your homie Sensei Ripping. I'm back again with another video. Today, we got Jalen Rose reacting to Skip Bayless hitting Shannon Sharp below the belt yesterday after calling out Tom Brady's terrible performance against the 49ers. That's right, y'all. For those who missed it, things got a little heated. And uh, I'll just let you guys see the clip for yourselves. Then I'll catch you afterwards with Jalen Rose's response. All right, so let's share this heated exchange went viral. Jalen Rose decided to take to Twitter to give his reaction with a post that reads, Wow, what a bully tactic. And clowns call him drip? Definition of a hashtag culture vulture. That's right, y'all. When he speaks on drip, he's referring to a nickname that I don't know who gave... Uh, Skip Bayless nickname, but they call him Drip Bayless, right? And then he wakes up early, he shows you his latest pad J's, and he wears his little chain, and you know, now he Drip Bayless. So that's what <laughs> Jalen Rose is referring to. But again, for those who've been around in them early first take days, come on now, we all remember when Jalen Rose had to put Skip in his place after Skip felt so easily comfortable with disrespecting players in the game. Actual players who put their blood, sweat, and tears out on the floor. Listen, man, y'all want to see it for yourself. Let's check out some of these clips so y'all can see the history with Jalen Rose and Skip Bayless, and then I will catch you afterwards in my commentary, all right? Let's get right to it. The positions were only created so a novice could follow the game. Just because you're a power forward, that doesn't make you physical. Just because you're a shooting guard, that don't mean you can jack up threes. That's what, just what were you, position. Jalen? What were you? What were you? Did you what average, were you? Did you average 1.4 yeah, points yeah, yeah, as yeah, a senior yeah, yeah. in high school? Yeah, I did. Okay, so yeah. all of that pistol P stuff, water pistol P okay. junior. Okay, we'll, we'll address that later. We're okay. going to. And don't ignore that. Did you play junior? Yeah. Did you play JV as a junior? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I followed. What were you? you. Okay. What were you? What was your uh, position? I have no position. I have. You no were game. a point guard. I have no game. You were a. The next day. Where is it for you? You, you can talk about how I played, and you could talk about what you saw out on the basketball court or the football field, or you could even rate my movie and say it was terrible. But when you call me names and assassinate my character, and you're hollering and screaming on national TV for four hours about it, people listen to that families, friends, kids, and now it becomes personal. The reason why we're having this debate is because technically Skip took personal what I said yesterday. That's why we're having this debate. Initially, that's, yeah, you're right. Right? So if it could hurt no, him. Wait, wait a second. You took it personal. But, but, you what, you but, started. But, I didn't but, start but how, it. However, but my point is it can be taken personal. If you're going to be objective, say your two cents, fine. You did cross a line with me, in my opinion, yesterday. We spoke about it after the show. Is that true? Yeah, we did. You apologized to me after the show, did you? Because I felt, because the reason yeah. why I apologized to you, yeah. because it hurt your feelings. That's why Wait, I apologize. Now, did you think you crossed the line? Do, 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 is it, does it cross the line when you attack the kind of player you no, think no, I was? No, we're, we're not going to change the subject. We're going to get back to this because I, I'll just tell you, you crossed the line with me. You called me a liar, came on this show out of the no, left actually, field. Actually, I asked you a question. Okay, you called me a liar. I asked you, you how much You to the average. conclusion of something you'd read on some blog. It wasn't a, and I didn't And you leave. didn't do your homework. You saw the right? Fat Five dog, right? I'm a student of trash talking. I pay attention to everything. And, okay, and I don't didn't know that, do your did homework. Did he call you a liar? Did, I, I, well, didn't call I mean, you he's, a liar. He's jumping to that conclusion. Roll that beautiful bean footage. You. Where were you? Did you? Where were you? Did you average one point four yeah, points yeah, yeah, as a yeah, senior yeah. in high school? Yeah, I did. Okay, so yeah. all of that pistol P stuff, water pistol P okay. Junior. Okay. And well, I lied I, about I, my high school I, I, well, career. I asked you a question. Yeah, I asked you. Okay. But the point is, you didn't do your homework. You didn't report that story. You didn't really? ask me what the truth was about so, it before you so leaked So asking you means I'm reporting okay? it? Yeah, absolutely. And the point is, you say, assassinating character. Well, I do do my homework. That's the one thing I do do. I, I'm never wrong about the facts. Now, how I interpret the facts, you, you can choose to say you're out of your mind. That's fine with me. I make my calls, I carefully watch my games, I voraciously read everything I can get my hands on, and I don't leap to conclusions factually. That's your job. Okay? That's like saying I, the guy okay. goes to practice It's, your, it's your job, too, because you're now a media Absolutely. Member. Okay? So when you say 
Can you assassinate character? Well, I I'll bring character into play when it undermines performance. That's when it becomes germane to this discussion. That's when I'm going to bring it to this table. And yeah, I did nickname Chris Bosch, Bosch Spice. And you know what? It was dead on accurate. And, and now okay, you gotta well, understand, some people are gonna be nice and, okay. and, 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 and allow you to do that. Like I no. played with Chris Bosch, I know him. He's a very good guy. Yeah, and he I allowed agree. you to do that. No, he so, didn't. He came in here and challenged me no, in my face no. Ch about it. Challenges you is with Jim Everett had to deal with with Jim Rohn okay. back in the day. That, well, if that you want to go there, I'm ready to go there. No. I, that's ah, fine. Okay. But it's unnecessary. But look, look. The po the point is, I, that accurately described his lack of performance last year. So he came and sat right there, and we went toe to toe. That for, doesn't wait, 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 accurately hold on, describe. Hold on, hold on does, just a second. What does he, Bosch Spice mean? He completely what, underachieved. What, he was soft. Oh. He played soft all year. And what did I tell him to his face, sitting right here in November? I said. If this season you play up to your potential, I'll never use that nickname. Have I used it one time this you have year? Not. not one time. Because you know what? Chris Bosch officially joined the big three this year and played big. Well, he was he wasn't so much part of the big three last night. No, but he I'm had I'm moments saying, this year no, where I he thought, has I, been he, small. He got his rebounds last night. He played stronger last night. I, I think he's had by his standards, to, but given his potential, he's had a very good year. When he told you that it was offensive to him. Yeah. You said that you would continue to use it if he doesn't live up to his potential. Now that's right. Correct. Now, now, now that, that's where, and that's why I keep trying to bring it back to this line. Yeah. You were offended and believed that Jalen crossed a line when he asked you questions about yeah. your high school career. Yeah. So if that is offensive to you, you okay. clearly no, don't no. want him to do it anymore. Okay, now he knows the exact story of how it happened. If you want to ridicule me with those facts, oh, okay. do it. Do it. Go for it. From here on, fair game. I, I told you yesterday, there's this line up here. We can go way up to this line. That's, that, that's below the line. That's not crossing the line. You can ridicule me. Yeah, I played for the B team my junior year as he attempted to force me into being a point guard. So every day we talk about point guard versus shooting so guard. So when you criticize and an athlete, think about that, though. You never know what they're dealing with with their coach and staff. You know what? Guess how much I got with paid that, in high school with, to with deal that. with my misery? Like zero? Look, if, if you're making, what, what's Russ Westbrook make? I don't know what he's, is he up to now? 12, 14 million? Double digit million? Yeah. yeah he's, okay. He, you're fair game. Let me you're tell playing you on the best team e in the e West. Everybody that doesn't have your job say they'll do it, they'll work harder, they'll be on time, they'll never be sick, they'll do it for cheaper until they get your job. So just because the guy's making money and whatever they do or fame, that doesn't make them a target for slander. Stephen A., what's your thought? Okay, wait, on wait, that? wait, hold on. Now that's crossing the line. I, I don't slander. I don't slander. You don't think calling no, somebody No, I don't Bob go into Spice personal life. No. Heck you don't think no. so? It's describing. You don't think calling somebody Tony Romeo is slander? Heck no. Oh. Tony Romeo? I'm just giving you an example. I, I do. I, w I would not like somebody calling me a negative nickname. Okay, could, could you take me to court and win a lawsuit because I called you Tony Romeo? I'm just giving an Because you were dating Jessica Simpson? I'm just giving an Wanna example. Want to bet? Want to bet just, on that I'm one? I'm just giving an I'll win that lawsuit. Good I'm luck with it. it. I'm just giving an okay. example. No, and I don't think we're even actually asking that in a legal sense. I mean, look, we're, we're <laughs> one of the big social issues right now is bullying and name calling. There and you I go. Think, I think one of the things that may Hello. shed light on this nationally is the fact that it is going on in our society, and it's not necessarily a, a pretty thing. Steve? Well, let's talk about it, y'all. I just wanted to show some, you know, clips from the past, right, showing the, the history between Jalen Rose and Skip Bayless, right? Jalen Rose is one of few who was actually, you know, sat in front of Skip, got him in his feelings, uh, to the point where as though Skip had to come back the next day and do a whole segment on it because Skip felt offended by what Jalen said, right? All Jalen did was ask a question. Somehow, some way, in, in Skip's fragile old mind, he felt like it was an, a, a personal attack on him and his character, right? Completely out of line. And all the man did was ask him what his stats was, you know, during JV, junior varsity. What's the problem? Why are you, you know, nervous about, you know, reading your numbers? Oh, it's because it's trash. That's why. <laughs> That's why, Skip, and own it. Those are your numbers. We don't want to hear context because you don't give context, right? There's no room for understanding when you criticize some of these players 
who's actually played in the game. Now, of course, this is a little different, right? This isn't uh, Skip Bayless criticizing players on the field or on the court this time. This is an incident where Skip's love and respect for Tom Brady uh, would not allow Shannon Sharp to call out Tom Brady's horrible performance this season. As great as Tom Brady is, right? As many championships this man has won, Shannon Sharp, Hall of Famer, has no right to call out Tom Brady on his terrible performance. I mean, come on. When he wins, he gets all the credit, but when he loses, we give him excuses. We're not doing that. Shannon has every right to call it like he said. A lot of people are not pleased with Tom Brady's recent performance as of this season, and we get it. There's a lot of things going on outside the field, but let's just be mindful. Now, to the viewers, to the fans, the people who watch the content, let this be a lesson for us, knowing that you really shouldn't, you know, hold value of those who've never played in the game. Or at least I should say, let's be more mindful and aware of your Nick Wrights, your Skip Baylesses, the individuals who've never played a sport, but love to push their opinion on you so much that they tell you it's a fact. It's not a fact. You got people like Nick Wright to come out and give you a hundred reasons why Kobe's not top five. He'll, you know, be blasphemous with it. He'll tell you he's not top 50 and go on all of these rants about why and these numbers and you know when you have actual players who've played against kobe tell you how great the man was who've played against jordan know the difference and say listen that boy kobe top five does that stop these guys from pushing their own opinions on the audience no so like i said let that be a lesson for us when we're hearing these takes from former players right hall of famers and you know looking at some of these personalities like they can uh, share the same space with some of these greats. No, they can't. So when you have Shannon Sharp telling Skip, relax, you're doing too much because, you know, these guys that work for coaching, they get paid to come in and view footage, tapes. This is what they do all day. Tom has to do a multitude of things. So how dare you actually say that Tom Brady watched more footage than the coaches? I mean, this is how delusional Skip is. It got to the point where as though he was willing to insult Shannon and say, well, Tom Brady's better than you today. That's why you're jealous. You upset because your career didn't last as long as Tom Brady's is right now, right? I mean, the obvious below the belt things that you would say to try to get a person, you know, distracted in their failings. And shout out to Shannon. I mean, for a second, he took the glasses off. He was getting a little swole like, wait a minute. This is this is what we doing, Skip? You're going to disrespect me all because I'm calling it how I see it? I mean... Point is, like I said, I wanted to show you guys the footage to let you know there is a history of Skip doing these things for years with players, but also there's been moments where he, he got hit right back in his mouth and he went back into his corner and kept it moving. All right. Now all of a sudden he he, he wanna talk about, you know, legal terms and why you wanna get that far into it, Skip? Of course ain't nobody gonna sue you over it. Just come on. What happened to being a man of integrity? You wouldn't want people to criticize you and going overboard outside of your takes, right? What if people started uh, criticizing Skip Bayless as a, a person, right? Then people say, hey, you're doing too much. We're criticizing the takes. Sometimes Skip goes outside of the performance, calling somebody bar spice and, you know, slandering people. That's exactly what it is. Listen, man, you're going to create emotions with them people where now when they see you in person, you have to stand on that. But y'all let me know. What's your thoughts on Jalen Rose calling Skip a culture vulture? And uh, what are your thoughts on this whole heated exchange between Shannon and Skip moving forward? Do you think this is something we should continue to monitor? Or do you think, you know, this will come and go like everything else? Let me know down in the comment section below. But that's all I got for y'all today. My name is Sensei Rip. Till next time. Peace.